Hello everybody, my name is Clutch, I play Call of Duty, and this is Black Ops 2, and here we go, so we're going to jump straight into it. Anyway, we're going to use Type 25, Fast Man Quick Draw Silencer, with Toughness, Scavenger, and Flat Jacket. Uh, no third perk, no tack nades, but we are going to have the C4 on, and no sidearm. So, we're going to jump straight in, and I'm going to rush up middle anyway. I don't know why, like, this map, right, I just wanted to upload this gameplay, because I feel like this isn't a map you see a lot of gameplays on. Uh, I think I've only got one on this map other than this one anyway, so, you know, it's just a different map to see. And, yeah, it's a bit different because I had two nukes on raid yesterday and a nuke on, um, was it a nuke on standoff? But it's kind of like, I've got enough nukes on raid to, uh, like, upload it, and I've got enough raid, and in general, I think at the minute, apart from there is one raid game I want to upload in, like, a week, maybe. Um, mostly because it's just a 67 and 5 game where, to like, me and my friend are playing and we, we both, like, I think we're down 21 tags at the start, like, our team were just dying. And then we absolutely go off on these kids, like, I, ha I think I had 6 AGIs in, like, 3 minutes. Something like that, which is quite crazy. So I do want to upload that eventually, but it's not going to be for, like, a week or two. I want to space out the raid games now. Unless I get, like, a ridiculous nuke again, then I'll upload that instead. Anyway... Uh, topics for this video. Now, topics, topics, topics. Right, I should have actually really kind of thought about some of these beforehand, but I didn't. So, first thing I want to say, double XP weekends. Um, I played a little bit, didn't play too much. Really, I'm already master, I don't need the XP. I'm just trying to get scoreboard placements. I'm doing pretty good on scoreboard. I think I'm like 33,000th right now. Uh, probably going to have a team on today, so I'm probably going to try and get to like 29,000, somewhere around there today. Uh, I'd like I'd like to get top thousand before ghost, but it's not gonna happen. Like top ten thousand is pretty possible, but like top thousand is really not. Also, I have decided on the series for uh, Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, series one is gonna be Road to well, no, I'm probably I don't know what I'm gonna actually title it, but it's just gonna generally be about getting to the top rank. Um, gonna be using all sorts of guns on there when we work out what, like, guns are OP, then there'll be some OP gun gameplays, and I'm gonna try and get some of the really, like, well, I say bad guns, I don't, I feel like there's not really gonna be any bad guns, because hit detection's gonna be good, it, apparently they're running the mod 2 hit detection server, so, hit detection should pretty much be flawless, like, it should be really, really good, plus Infinity Ward's hit detection is always better than Treyarch's, like, Let's be honest, like Treyarch, guys, we all know Treyarch is known for bad hit detection and poor spawns. We know that. So hopefully, like, Ghost is going to be sick because it's for obviously an Infinity War game, which means they'll be stepping it up. And I should be back in my prime, hopefully. Also, in Ghost, uh, some of you have been asking about the kill streak situation. Now, in Ghost, I will be running, now as we are going back to actual kills for a streak, I will be running high-end streaks. I'll probably have the highest streaks on possible, to be honest. Like, because I'm pretty, I mean, I'd, I'd like to think I'm pretty good at staying alive in, like, situations like that. And I'm, I seem to get, like, good kill streaks in Black Ops 2. The thing is, like, like I'll have games where I'll be, like, 15, 16, and 0, but teammates are taking my tags, and it's like, you know what I mean? Like, if you had the tags, like, if I was 16 and 0 and I got all my tags, I'd have Swarm. I'd have a Swarm. Like, and this this is so many, this is like every other game or something where I think, oh, I could have a swarm or even a double swarm. And yeah, I know if I put swarm on, I'll get screwed over one off or something like that. Like there, in that situation there, like that that was a death there, which was a stupid play. Like I made a, I made a mistake there and I thought I'd get the C4 out before he shot me, but apparently that wasn't the case. So, I mean, that's my own fault. I can't complain about that death, but that's the kind of mistake I would make on going for a swarm. Like it would just be a bad mistake. Anyway... Ghost kill streaks gonna be massive. First, it's gonna be there's probably gonna be more than one series on Ghost though, to be honest. Because I mean, I started playing Black Ops Two really late, so I really only really, it's like it's only kind of giving me time for one series. So yeah, like I would say, Ghost first series one is gonna definitely be Road to Max. I'll either I don't think I'm gonna call it Road to Max. I want to try and think of something like like Clutchy's Climb or something. I don't I don't know. Like that's just a random idea that I've just had there. Like Clutchy's Climb to Max or Clutchy's Climb to Ranks or something. And, um, as well, like, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna do a series with, like, HG members as well, like, which is, like, something I do want to do. Like, I want to get, kind of, the whole of HG involved, all our players, um, maybe, <sighs> wow, what am I thinking? All right, I'm trying to think of an idea for a series. One thing I w I'd like to stream, um, like, I mean, I can live stream, like, I have good capabilities for live streaming, so, I mean, there's no reason why I'm not live streaming Black Ops 2, like, I've done a couple streams, and it went really well, but, 
it's kind of weird. Like streaming, it's awkward because you have to play it a certain style to kind of entertain. And sometimes, like the people you're playing, you just can't maintain like a standard with when you have to say rush the same. Like if you're rushing, uh, playing against a team, and you have to rush like constantly. They they get aware to that and then they'll sit a guy back and then he'll just keep killing you or whatever. But that shouldn't be the case in uh, in Ghost. I should be able to rush again in Ghost. I mean, this playstyle I'm using now, like this is not my style from like any other COD. Like any other Call of Duty, I'll be in there spawning right now, just tearing them a new asshole. But you cannot do it on Black Ops 2 because obviously spawn rotations are terrible. Uh, the flip range is disgusting. Like for those of you that don't know what that means, flip range is kind of like uh, how can I explain it? All right, so. Say say you spawn like you spawn in the first spawn you get, right? You spawn where I've just spawned here with this lightning strike out, right? You spawn there. So that's your first spawn of the game. Now, if you go past, say, halfway, so if you go past middle room, like I'm I think I'm gonna run there now, so I'll tell you. Let me just see if I run there and I'll tell you. So like ah, that could go dumbed. I mean I was like, there's fine. Like if I went to say that red car in the street just down to my left, that would like be fine. If I go to where my other teammate is up on the helipad, that's gonna change spawn. So, like, around here I'm good, I can lock spawn up. Like, there, there is a split because one of our teammates is on helipad. See, this is my primary point. Because he's on helipad, they're spawning behind me. And now, that's going to force one of my teammates to also spawn down there with him. Like, because of the, it's like a beacon system. Like, you spawn to the farthest teammate away from conflict. So, he's not in the fight, so he's going to spawn my teammate over there. And in, in the retrospect, that's going to spawn everyone else there. And then they're going to spawn where we originally were. So what will happen then is now see one of my teammates, if you look at my minimap now, one of my teammates is pushing to that spawn because, well, he's going to just rush dots because he's dumb. So they'll probably eventually spawn up in this end. So it's kind of like, it's really poor spawn flip. Like, it's really bad like that because you just can't really get like manipulation or spawn pushes or even traps. Like, traps are quite bad on this game. Like, if you can get a trap in, you are going to destroy. Like, I can trap carrier. Like, I was showing one a few people how to do a trap on carrier. And I think I had a nuke and someone else had a nuke. I think one other guy was, like, one off a nuke and got a shotgun in the back or something. But like, the, the reason he died as well was that it was literally the stupidest spawn I've ever seen. Like, I didn't even know they could spawn, like, in some of the places they were getting. It was crazy. And, yeah, like, hopefully I'll be able to rush, basically, in Ghost again. Um, because Russian's more fun for me, I do a lot better, and obviously it's more entertaining to watch as well. And, like, a lot of, a lot of the YouTubers I've seen, like, that play this game, like, they, they kind of don't care about their teammates, like, they just screw their teammates over. And that's not good, like, you're not, you're not a team player if you're doing that, you're just, you know, you're KD whore. And, and also, like, oh yeah, I know I'm a KD whore, but the thing is, like, how can I explain this, right, I'm gonna try and explain this, right. If you have a high KD, let's say, what's, like, what's considered a high KD, right. I'm going to say 2, because 2 is pretty good, to be fair. That's, like, pretty damn impressive. Right, let's say a 2 KD, right? If you have a 2 10 KD or whatever, but you have a 0 50 or a 0 80 win loss, that probably means that you dashboard a lot of games for that 2 KD. Like, you just straight dashboard. Like... If I can understand it to a degree, like, if there's lag and you're dying for lag, I can understand it. If your teammates are getting you killed and you get angry, I can understand it. But when you've done, like, if you've just played bad and made mistakes, it's like, come on now. Like, we've played one particular guy, it's called The Sound of Music, which is already a bad name. Um, Basically, like, I've played this kid multiple times. Like, there's a few people in this game. Where, because we play Kill Confirm so much, we actually find three or four people on a regular basis. Like, there's one guy called It's a G Thing, um, Sound of Music, and a couple other guys. And, the, like, this Sound of Music guy in particular, he's got, a, I think he's got, like, a 280 KD, a 0 10 win loss. And every time we find him, like, three or four, he'll have three or four dashboards in a row on his combat record. And then he'll have one game with, like, a 4 KD. And then he'll have more dashboards. Um, it's kind of like, it's like, why, you know, like, if you've messed up that many games, obviously, like, you can't dashboard four games in a row and, like, say that's fine. It's just not, like, it's just not. And then, like, this, you know, this is why KD is, like, so annoying, like, because when people see my KD, they'll be like, oh, yeah, you, you dashboard games. It's like, but now I have a four and lost to go with it. So, like, obviously, I don't rage quit many games. Like, I do rage quit a few games. I don't deny it. Like, I do that. But... I will, I'm like my KD is basically like it's probably well how can I, it is very legit like it is insanely legit when you think about it 
Like, I do have a few support runners, but the thing is, those people want to run support streaks anyway. So it's like, if, I mean, if two people come in and say, oh, I'm going to run UAV for you, then I'm obviously going to be like, all right, yeah, cool. You know, that's, that helps me out massively. So I'm not going to say no. But anyway, there's some topics. I hope I've kind of explained something to you guys. And I'm going to upload a live commentary with some tips and stuff in the next day or so. So there's a 48-6 game, Type 25. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.